Okay, so ito na yung bagong update mula sa core team ng Pi Network. Tunurin niyo po ang buong video para sa mga update nila. Don't forget to use my invitation code, Delato Cadus. Free submission would be useful, would be a useful remedy only for a few cases, such as a failure in image recognition checks. Uh, that makes sense that allowing them to resubmit their images for the algorithm to <clears throat> to take another try, and then many of them actually get passed. Um, until there are major changes to the system in these checks, like for example the image recognition, the resubmission wouldn't help that much. Uh, if uh, someone who is actually stuck because of their name appeal, then it should be waiting for the name appeal feature to come out to resolve the, uh, you know, their name don't match, don't simply match um, that case. So giving them another resubmission will only lead them to have more trouble resubmitting one more time for them wouldn't let them just go past because of resubmission. However, we need to uh, strike a balance in granting, you know, even for the, for the checks that the resubmission would help, we need to strike a balance in granting resubmissions because we don't want to let the fake accounts to get many opportunities to retry, retry either. Uh, yes, there is already a feature actually halfway, you know, shown, but that there is some scalability issue uh, and not fully fledged uh, to for people to use. I don't remember where it is uh, at. Maybe it's in the mainnet uh, checklist. Oh, the last step. Mm -hmm. It's like inviting mm -hmm. your inviting your uh, teams to to KYC. So this is the mechanism and feature we thought of to um, mobilizing the inactive or other members who haven't KYC to KYC. Um, in a sense, it's a decentralized, it's decentralized motivation uh, mechanism. Each person is motivating their own security circle or referral team to pass KYC because they have their own motivation as well because uh, the bonuses attributed to those members uh, depends on the verification of identity of their team members. So uh, the, the feature that we're thinking of is notification uh, through the similar to the pin. Uh, however, we're, yes, we're also open to sending email notifications, uh, which will take time to set up the infrastructure to send millions of emails, but you know, but still more feasible than sending messages, text messages. The majority of the efforts right now in the KYC team have been to uh, unblocking pioneers for their ability to submit KYC and getting unstuck in the KYC review process for various reasons just mentioned above. Um, what like for the user end end point, it's just uh, the same. It's pending or it's stuck. But for the engineering side of things, it's actually different sets of work. It's not just one set of work and unblock all people. It's a different miscellaneous set of work to unblock different people for different reasons. And that's why it takes time. And that's why you continuously hearing people who is stuck is because, um, you know, there are always remaining people um, who is stuck due to the probability of algorithms and due to human errors. And we are trying our best to, to unblock them and improve them as much as possible. The validated rewards are accumulated um, by deducting um, one pi from each successful KYC, especially at the migration and into a pool. This pool will only increase and will not decrease uh, because it will only be used to reward validators. All the work, such as checks, 
and a validator D are accounted for in the database. So we have all the data that is needed in order to distribute the reward. So the rewards from the pool will be distributed after the calculation of the accurate validation checks because there are some validations uh, should be false and that shouldn't be compensated for. Uh, it will be after the KYC process is more stable state where all pioneers can apply to KYC, fewer people are stuck in the pipeline. This also helps to reward all, pioneer, uh, all valid validators more fairly because uh, the initial periods of KYC movement, we call it if it's a network movement of uh, KYC, the initial periods like right now or any time before right now, it, it should be considered the initial period. Uh, this may involve more negative results, uh, meaning that like the, these ones are marked as uh, internally as uh, rejected or actually rejected, whereas the later stage presumably more cases passing. So the pool only come from the successful uh, KYC as a reminder, uh, because only the people who are KYC that actually can claim the pie and therefore actually have the ability to pay the one pie, uh, but will reward all the work by validators, even if the results of the cases are negative, meaning that the work, if the validator accurately uh, validates a case and determine this case shouldn't pass, this validator's work still needs to be rewarded because it's a work helped to result in accurate um, negative result. So accounting for larger data set of the validation work helps overall more fair reward distribution. Uh, I'll give a very simple example. So early on, let's suppose, all these are supposed a uh, hypothetical number. Suppose a 3 out of 10 um, KYC applications pass KYC. And these work are done by 10 validators, which is uh, you know, assumption uh, is hypothetical because uh, actually each case has much, much many validators involved. Uh, let's suppose 10 uh, for simplicity. Therefore, this will yield 3 pi should be distributed among 10 people. And each validator will only get 0 0.3 pi. But later, as the uh, system improve, later 9 out of 10 people pass KYC and also done by 10 validators, 9 pi will be distributed among 10 people. This leads to the later period 0 0.9 pi. But if we put both batches together and distribute the pi rewards together, it means that the, you know, 3 plus 9 is 12 pi in total and distributed to, you know, 20 validators in total, then each validator should earn 0 0.6 pi instead of the, the, for the initial validators that, that basically suffer from a lot of negative results is uh, 0 0.3 and then later has much higher. This is a simple hypothetical example why pulling it uh, together more to have uh, to reach a little bit more stable KYC start, uh, you know, periods helps uh, even or more fair distribution, okay? Um, currently, there is uh, over 700,000 uh, uh, validators who have uh, uh, validated at least a certain amount of uh, applications, meaning that uh, it's not just one, one or two, it's uh, like a few applications, a few. Uh. Yes, at the moment, every KYC application involves multiple human validations. Uh, but human validations do not constitute the whole validation process of a KYC. And, but um, all the cases uh, also involve uh, uh, multiple machine uh, automation checks. So we will see how this uh, can evolve in the future. Maybe we will be at a point where uh, many validations can be fully 
uh, completed by AI. And when the AI say, is not certain, that's when uh, uh, it goes to human validators. Yes. And by the way, this is going to e be a benefit for human validators as well, mm -hmm. because they will only be called to do meaningful work, therefore, uh, more meaningful work, therefore, uh, critical, meaning that uh, not the easy cases, but the more difficult cases that the computer cannot uh, uh, determine. And, uh, and as a result, the, the proportion, the amount of uh, pi that will be distributed would also be higher because uh, fewer, uh, fewer, fewer people are needed per, per uh, person who needs the KYC. Yeah, so this is, uh, you know, the design of a components of a machine and also uh, AI and uh, human is by, you know, it's, um, it's to make something 100%, meaning that it can reach finality because AI until today, even though it's a uh, great applications in areas, uh, very widely, very useful, but it cannot achieve the 100%. However, the KYC determination needs to be 100%. Uh, that's why we have the d design of two components. And at the same time, as you guys, many of you know, AI has the nature of involvement, like e evolution of itself, of getting smarter as it goes. And that's what Nicholas comment on uh, later, it might not need certain processes or reduce certain type of work for validator while giving validator more critical work to work on. Mm -hmm. So that we're doing two things basically as we go. One is we're using these algorithms to make decisions in the applications as they go, but we are also learning, the, the algorithm is training and learning based on validated uh, um, responses, and it's improving itself. Mm -hmm. Some uh, migration statistics. So currently there is a little bit over 1 billion pi that is moved to mainnet. It's 1.046, something like that. And about 80% of that is locked for six months or more, like 813 million and, and, and some more. We have migrated about 1.3 million to mainnet. That means that this 1 billion pi belongs to those 1.3 million people. And there is uh, currently about 2.6 million, about double that, who have passed KYC. So this means, if we divide the numbers up, it means that currently the average mainnet balance of pioneers is about 800 pi, 808. These are the statistics, uh, current statistics about the migration. Can we add the feature automatically switch the keyboard to English when entering a passphrase? This would will limit the si situation that the binary still leaves the keyboard in the native language and confuses one number of, or character when entering the passphrase. I think this is a really good idea. We can look into whether it is uh, technically feasible if the phones allow you, or the phone browsers allow you to uh, to do this, uh, to modify the keyboard uh, settings. Um, if we can, it's a really good idea. Thank you for uh, proposing it.